Hi, Mr. Heffern here, and here's a quick video on how to uh, make graphs in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. So first of all, you may be asked to make a graph for one of your lab activities. So first thing you should do is get a spreadsheet open and uh, type in your titles and your, um, your data. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is just um, highlight your data. And then in Microsoft Excel here, we go to the Insert menu. And we're going to click on this one right here, an XY scatter plot that doesn't play connect the dots. This is the one you always want to use in physics class. Okay, from there, if you want, you can add your uh, chart, chart title. So this is a uh, D versus T plot of a person walking, or whatever it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of our points. I'm just going to right click on it. And then you'll get a little uh, menu pop up and we're going to choose Add Trend Line. So, most of the time you'll be using a linear, or occasionally you'll be using a polynomial order two. Okay. And occasionally you may even be using something called a, a power function, in this case we don't have that option. So, you get a linear function, there we go. And then what you want to do is just uh, down here, you want to choose uh, to display the equation on the chart go and boom we've got our uh, we've got our graph plotted off to submit okay so now you just have to be able to turn this in so um, what you want to do is save your work just in case uh, so let's see there we go yeah physics help so my graph okay and then uh, just so you can submit it and it's easier to mark you might want to save it as a PDF so I'm going to save it to the same location and change it into a PDF. There we go. Okay, and then it should open immediately like that. So there we go. I got my graph ready to go. Now, what if you want to do this in Google Sheets? Okay, you can do the same thing. So here I've got the data in Google Sheets. So I'm just going to highlight my data. I'm going to go uh, Insert. So I'm going to make a chart. There we go. Now I want to customize this chart style. I want to use a, let's see, um, oh, there we go. I want to change this to be an XY scatter plot as well. Same thing. There we go. There's the one I'm looking for right there. Okay. And now, if you want to get the trend line, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, I want to go to Customize. And I'm going to come down here to Series. Okay. And click on Trend Line. There we go. And you get some choices here as well. You got linear, exponential, polynomial, logarithmic, power, etc. We're going to use a linear. And now that I've got that, I want to see the equation. So right here under label, I'm going to choose use equation. And it's going to pop up over there on the side. There we go. Now I have got my uh, graph ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to move it over a little bit. So now to submit this, um, you may be able to move the Google Sheet directly into the submit box if that's not working. Then try downloading this as a PDF document. Okay, let's kind of do that. So hit the export button. There we go. And then now to submit it is just um, go to your Dropbox and find that file on your device and add it and then hit the submit button. And that's it. That's how you make a quick graph using Excel or Google Sheets. I hope this has been helpful.